Hey, Gary here with you. Drag handles are back inside of Groove. So now you have the little drag handle on certain elements inside of the page builder inside of Groove Pages. Today is Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Of course, all these updates and changes for Groove Pages 2.0 started back on August 14th. So I just wanted to show you a few things while I'm in here. So as an example, you can see I've highlighted this text element, the text three element here which is this element right here inside of this yellow container. So if I click the text element, you can see that there is no drag handle. But if I click out and then come back and click in, you can see it highlights the text element, but it looks like it highlighted the container as well. So we'll drag that out and put that here. And as you can see, it looked like I or I thought it was going to put it there based upon that pink bar. It actually put it down here and then you can see my container here is still there but my yellow is gone. Let me go back here and show you what happened. So right now when I click on this I highlight it. It's highlighting the text three. Check the breadcrumbs down here. Body block container 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 layout one container text three. And I do want to caveat this by saying that I am in no way, shape, or form trying to discuss the fact of if this follows HTML or website best practices for building pages as far as number of containers and layouts and positioning. I'm just showing you what I see as I'm going through Group Pages 2.0 and adjusting to the changes. And right now this drag handle, if I wanted to drag this up here and maybe and see, this time I was able to be patient enough and wait for it and then drop it there. But as you can see, the text moved. But the container down here, which I still have as a yellow background, is empty. So therefore, the yellow background is not showing up. Let me go ahead and put that back. So you can see here, if I click this and highlight this text 3, if I go up one, I'm inside of that container and that container is yellow. If I move the text, the text is the element inside that container and that makes the container not empty. So if I delete the text, so if, again if I click the text, I could use the drag handle, but if I was to delete the text, go ahead and confirm it, you'll see that now the container is empty. Even though the background of that container is yellow, over here under container you can see I have set that to yellow. The point I'm trying to show you at this point is to notice that there's no drag handle on this empty container. Now if I go up one, to the layout one, there is a drag handle on this and then I'm able to reposition this if I'm patient and drag it, or I thought I would be able to, I would be able to move that. Let's go ahead and go back. You can see it did move. So again, here I'm on the container because you can see the yellow here. I go up. Now I have the drag handle for the layout one by one. I'm going to scroll up a little bit and see if I get some real estate here, I can move it. But as you can see, I've highlighted the layout one by one and it's not dragging it or I guess it is. But now there's this gray dotted line versus the orange or the pink line, I mean, that I was used to seeing. But now you can see that that layout one by that layout one container is now there versus where it was. But you didn't see that pink container or that pink line. For example, this text element, if I highlight that. See the pink line when I move that and I drop it here? I think you saw the difference with the container. If you didn't, I'll go back to the container. Again, the empty container doesn't have a drag handle, but the layout one does have a drag handle. If I was to go up one more for completeness here, you're going to see that's the entire container for all the elements on this page I'm working on. Again, this is not about if this is a best practice as far as design. I'm just showing you what I see as I use the container for the way, or as I use the builder, the way that I use the builder for my business, specifically doing affiliate marketing. So understand, again, we'll go back up here, or actually we'll click off here and we'll click on that container. And then again, we'll highlight this. And I wanna show you the drag handle here, doesn't have the pink line, it's gonna be a gray dotted line. Actually, it turns yellow there. And then if I scroll down, you can see that I believe it's going to drop it right there based upon that gray dashed or dotted and white line. And then you can see there, if I click on the container, 
And then if I highlight the container again, if I'm patient with the builder, although at this point you can see something weird has happened. So it looks like that this got confused. So we'll go ahead and go back and we'll try that again. We'll click on the empty container. We will up arrow. We will grab this. And at this point we are moving the layout one by one. And there you can see this time I've held a little bit longer and I've been a little more patient and then it moves the container and it didn't have that issue that I saw before. And that's what I'm seeing right now. Of course, since May 2019, when I backed this project, I've seen issues like this, but the improvements are coming with this new Groove Pages 2.0 update. And of course it didn't have the drag handles, they removed it and it caused a lot of confusion for people to include myself, but they have added that back. And that's currently what I'm seeing right now. With that, if you want to go back to the site that you were using, there used to be a element here. There are no revisions for the current page at this moment. So for some reason, either that didn't save automatically or I didn't hit the save, but that's where you would back up to the latest and greatest. But at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to see if I can get back to my starting point by using, and I'm clicking this undo button here to see how far this will go back. And then that takes me all the way back right there to where I was when we started. The next thing I want to talk about is sharing this. As you can see, this site is called Test Share Site. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to click on this settings here. And then here are the page settings, but this is also the settings for the entire site. So the page settings is for the page here that I'm working on. And of course, this page currently is called Home. If I was to exit this, you'll see here, this is called Home. If I click the cog wheel again, I could go ahead and save this as test share site template and then hit the check mark. And you're going to see when I close this that you're going to see this is a test share site template or the index. If you were to look at the pages, this is the first page in this site. Now back to the cog wheel to actually share the site. Of course, site settings here, share the site. This is how you share the site. And the reason I wanted to show this is because I'm getting ready to share out a site as a set of templates. But also when I add this share link, I want to show you how this actually works. We'll go ahead and we'll copy this and we'll go over to my free account. And I wanted to highlight this too in the video. And this may seem kind of disjointed, but understand what I'm trying to show you here is where I'm at right now, August 20th, 2022. You can see I have 11 days, 21 hours, 30 minutes, and 30 seconds, 29 seconds. The countdown timer is warning me that my free upgrade ends because they've changed the free plan. And when this countdown gets to zero, I'm going to show you the differences in what I have currently or had with my free plan versus what happens when that timer goes to zero. But in this video, I wanted to show you that if I bring that share URL over that I just created, and I go ahead and paste that in the URL bar, and then I hit enter. I want to show you how this is working. And I also want to verify that if I share a site, when that site is shared, if I was to update that site, does it update the share site that I've shared with other people? So for example, now you can see I have access to the site. There is one thing I want to bring up here, and I've seen this as part of the discussion, is check out this image. This image I loaded into my paid account, my lifetime account, where I have access to this image. Now, if I want to change this image and I go here to choose and I look at my image library, you'll see that that site is not under my files. So what happens here at this point is this image, you shared the site, but you didn't share the images. This image is actually linked to my account. So you can't share images currently by sharing the site. You only share the template of the site. And then the images here are linked back to whoever shared the site to you. But as you can see here, I only have one page in that index. What I want to do now is I want to go back to my paid account where I actually shared this link and I'm going to go ahead and exit that. And then I want to see what happens if I create a new page and I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this page because I want to see if I duplicate this page to add additional templates or additional pages. I want to make sure that this actually gets copied over or the site, the free site can see these changes that I've just made. So now we're back over in the free account and here you can see that it didn't instantly update it. So it's not dynamic in the fact that, hey, I made a change, it updated, but we'll go ahead and we'll refresh this test share site over in our free account. And then we'll check out and see what we have. We'll go to pages 
And you can see it still didn't update, but also inside, or now I'm back inside of my paid account, and sorry for bouncing around, but this is just sort of the way I have to show this. I wanna go ahead and I want to save this, and then you can see here the content has been saved. Now I'm back in the free site, and the reason you know it's the free site is because I'm showing the URL bar up here, and I wanna go ahead, now that I've saved it, again, it's not dynamically updating this test share site in my free account, or in say if you had a client it didn't automatically update their page if they had the builder open but let's go ahead and refresh this site and see if it updated it and now we've refreshed that and we go to pages and you can see it didn't actually update or it didn't add in that new page let's go back to the test share site where we created that page here we created that copy let's go ahead and publish this site and see if it's a mechanism or an order of operations thing where i actually have to have the site published for it to show up but it would seem to me or it'd be a better option if this would just dynamically update or if not even dynamically update, if it would actually update when I hit the save button. But we went ahead and we published the website. So now, for example, if I was to go and check out this test share site, you can see that it is published. And we'll go ahead and we'll go back here and we can see that we published that. If we click here on this page, we haven't actually published this or I've seen to notice a bug here or something that I'm not quite understanding. The fact that I clicked on the secondary page and it still shows up as website, it doesn't show website and page. I think what I have to do here is I have to publish from this location. And then once I do that, what I've seen, if I go back to the site or if I go back to the main page and then I come back to this page, you can see still it says just website. So I'll go ahead now that I've saved and published this on my paid account, where I created the template, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh GrooveFunnels. So now when that site comes back and I go to pages and I click on the index or the main page or the first page and then I go to publish, now you can see website and current page. So this is still a bug where if you add a page, it doesn't dynamically add the website and current page. Now you can see if I go to the second page or the duplicate that I made, it has the ability to publish the entire website or link out to the entire website or publish or link out or copy the, to the clipboard the page that I'm currently working on. So now that I've saved and published this website, let's go back to the free account where I've shared that site. And as you can see, again, it's not dynamically updating it, but let's go ahead and refresh and see if it refreshes the page here. And we'll go ahead and look at pages. And as you can see, it still did not update here. So it's not sharing. So even though the site has been shared initially, it doesn't look like the updates that I'm making over on the template site where I created the templates are actually being shared out again, or it's not reaching back again and actually going and pulling this information. So let's go back to this share site. And what we'll do here is we will go and we will share this again. So we'll go to share site because I believe this link right now is not dynamically being updated. But if we add another share link, and we go ahead and we copy that share link, and I believe it's this bottom one here. We'll go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. Then we'll go back into our free GrooveFunnels account, and we're simply just going to paste that in. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now you can see that premium features are available to paid members only. Upgrade your account to a higher tier in order to get higher limits and no restrictions. So you can see, I'll say no thanks. Sorry, upgrade to pro to clone site. So I think what happened is I copied the wrong share code. I think I copied the same share code here. If you look at this code, because I said I think it was the bottom one. Actually, now I think it was the top one. It would actually be cool if they added identifier here, like a number or a date. So you know when you actually shared this link, or you could actually add a name here, maybe a description. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy this top one. And we'll go back to our free site here. You can see that we need to upgrade to pro to clone sites. And I'll go ahead and I'll paste that in there. Now I've shared this site again. You can see here, no thanks. You can see it's still telling me I have to upgrade to Pro to clone a site. So let's see what's really going on here inside of Groove Pages. Of course, remember this free account here, we're working with limitations, and I'm not clear on all the limitations at this point. And part of that is because I simply haven't gone through all the options and all the options you get versus a paid account versus a free account. And that's part of what I'm doing here. But as you can see, I can't currently manage or I can't have more than three free sites. So you can see that I have this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this first one that we shared. And then I'm gonna see if I can import that page. 
by bringing that in again with that share code. And now here it imported that site and you can see it wasn't really a clone feature even though it was telling me I couldn't clone a site. Really the problem was I already used up my three free sites. Now if I look at my pages, now you can see that I actually have both of them. So if you initially share a site with only one page inside of a template site, then if you add another site, you're going to have to reshare this to a client or to the people or to the person or to the organization that you're actually sharing this with. So site sharing at this point is not dynamic as far as the updates, meaning if you share a site and it only has one page and you add another page, it does not appear at this time, Saturday, August 20th, 2022, that when you're sharing these links out, that this didn't actually dynamically update the fact that I added a new site or a new page to that site, I actually had to share it again. And like I said, I would like to see here a, a place to put a description or at least number these or date these. So I have an idea of when I actually shared this because you're going to forget what this is and when this was shared and how many pages it was. It seems a little confusing. To me, it looks like, and again, this is not to say that this is the way it should be. This is just the way that I think it should work or I would like it to work is if I shared this site out and I added new pages or I updated the pages, I would like to see that dynamically shared to the share link. But that may or may not be the way it's intended to work. And I just wanted to share with that with you here in this video. And like all these videos here, I'm showing you the tools that I use in my business. And if you'd like to see more of the tools that I use and the strategy that I also use here on YouTube to do affiliate marketing, check out the link in the description for my course called Affiliating, where I walk you through this type of stuff in greater detail. And also, if you have any questions or you'd like to see something specifically about this tool, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you later. Bye.